Hi folks, William Stillman, Psychic Medium, back in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania on a gorgeous day. It is actually President's Day today and I am honored to be yet again in the presence of Major Ronald Roberts. Ron, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Bill. Again, I just want to give people a little bit of information, some background behind the scenes of what goes on in preparation for each of our uh, events that we do on location. I don't know anything about where we are going. In fact, we all meet in the morning at uh, the Walmart in Gettysburg, and then I drive separately from Ron to the various locations. So all I know is today we're going to a couple of indoor sites, which is something that we haven't yet done on the channel and very much excited and looking forward to it Ron and awesome. anything else that you would like to add well I, I just anticipated February in Gettysburg being being a lot more in, inclement than than this so yeah very excited looking forward to it thank you so Ron I don't know where we are but um, at the last stop was it the Farnsworth yes house they were talking about snipers, and I'm being yes. told to ask about snipers here yes. also, of if course. that would make sense. It does make sense. Snipers. Yes, absolutely. And um, I'm also feeling as though there's a, a we, I've used the word convergence in the past, a convergence. So I feel as though there are men coming from that direction toward us exactly if that would right. make sense it absolutely and does. is this also where snipers may have been set up yes right in here yep sharpshooters thank you um it also feels as though there's there's a moment i'm almost hearing like a battle cry there's a moment in time where all hell breaks loose and it feels like there's this onslaught. Yes. <clears throat> I'm hearing a lot of men yelling. Um, I'm wondering if that tree would have been here and maybe Tim can pan around to get a, a, an image sure. of the tree. Sure. Do you know? I don't know. We can, we can research that to see if that's a witness tree. Yep, certainly can. I'm wondering. The reason why I'm asking is um, I'm, I'm wondering if there was the possibility of any men being in trees either as a lookout or to shoot. It is definitely possible. However, I, I can't imagine that it would have been a very, very survivable position. Right. Right. Perhaps we could walk down closer to the wall if that's where you're being drawn or you're not or not i'm actually feeling also as though there are then men that are wounded that are being pulled or dragged to safety back this way yes so we can we can go okay. down here All of these large boulders would have been here at the time. Absolutely. And I, it almost feels as though, to me, I don't know if it's here or beyond, where they served as almost a, in the moment, um, a makeshift operating table where a tourniquet would have been applied very quickly or bandaging done very quickly. Is that a possibility? It is definitely a possibility. Okay. Yes. So again, the, the way this particular boulder is angled would be conducive to someone sitting back against it. Exactly. Yeah. But I also feel as though that may have happened uh, beyond us as well. Any connection? This is an old name. Now I'm getting male names. <laughs> Ambrose. Ambrose. Interesting. Ambrose. Ambrose. Um, I can't imagine this is a first name. Pierce or Bierce? Okay. I don't know if that means anything right now. Hmm. 
N Ren Renault. R E N A U L T. Renault. Ron, I have to ask you if the the um, engagement that happened here, if it lasted it, uh, until dusk, because I'm feeling as though the sunlight is getting dimmer. Yes. Thank you. It started very late. Thank you. That's what I needed to hear. Wondering if there would have been a farm within walking distance of where we are now. Yes. Mm. That would have also served as um, a temporary hospital. Yes. As well. Definitely. I don't know where we are positioned in terms of directions, but I'm being pulled kind of over that way. Okay. If that would make sense in terms of the location. Yes. I also need to ask about the name Gregory, but I think that's a last name. Okay. And also the name Malcolm. And these are names that may not come, mean anything here and now, but I'm wondering if you could research them of to see so. if they're relevant to the space we are in now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. to here and July 4th? That's a good question. So obviously the battle ended on the 3rd and the primary, this engagement area was on the 2nd. Late afternoon, early evening on the 2nd. Is it possible that on the 4th there were dead that were buried in this area. Yes. I'm wondering about that. So it's almost like they came back to... Maybe it was into that evening, I don't know. You know, they had kerosene lamps that they, that they used to illuminate things in the dark. I'm also being shown the word headquarters. It feels as though there was some a station not far from here also. Yes. So that's out that way. Correct. That is correct. Which is in a different direction from the farm with the cows that I'm smelling. It's a little more sophisticated than what you might think, this headquarters. So there's a headquarters that feels as though it's in someone's home. And then there's a, a headquarters that looks like a tent. Does the name Lee also mean anything connected to this space? Sure. L E. Mm -hmm. L E. I'm also hearing the word retreat. Yes. It's almost like someone sounded the cry and then it's everyone disperses. Yes. Everyone Absolutely. disperses. Absolutely. hearing a train also that is near to where we are, if that would make any sense to you. 
you? Yes. It, I don't think it would have been here at the same time. Correct. That's the, the train that it was part of the... Centennial? Was, yes. I'm being shown the word Centennial. But there is another train that you could hear from where we are. Right. That might have passed through town. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yep. So we're talking about two different trains in two different eras. Correct. Thank you. That's what I needed to hear. Encampment. There's an encampment that would have been within walking distance from where we are also, correct? Correct. Yes. And would that be near running water? Yes. Okay. Because I, it, it feels as though it's near a a stream or a river there is going to say a stream there is one close to here thank yes. you okay uh, where it would have made sense to have an encampment absolutely that's what i needed thank you yeah. july 4th i gotta stand by that also i'm being shown the word survey or surveyor and i don't know what would have been involved after the fact where someone would have come out here and uh, it's almost like they're they're transcribing something as they're walking the space they're walking the area am i in the right era still you are in the right era yes okay yes absolutely We're, yes someone is taking notes i don't know if it's a written a summary a written report a, there were reporters that visited as soon as the fight. I want to say July 4th. Yes, I got to stand by that. Correct. Uh, where they're, they're, they're taking, sur there's a survey and then they're, they're, oh, well, they're kind of using um, some creative license here also in um, em embellishing or imagining what happened based upon what they're surveying Correct. because they weren't actually here to witness it but in the aftermath it's very interesting to me as an author um, what it is that they're doing so they're maybe sensationalizing it a little bit also um, maybe there are some pieces that are being suppressed but it's you know same as today folks <laughs> you know depending upon the nature of the journalist and uh, for which outlet they are reporting you know it's very interesting how there's a little bit of personal bias that comes to play upon the uh, the written summary the reporting that's happening here mm -hmm. there are also um, at, there's at least one photographer correct at least one photographer correct Was there, to your knowledge, was there any motion picture footage taken Not here during, obviously at not. At that time? No, definitely not during that time. It could have been taken much later. All right. And certainly reenactments of, of whatever happened here. Is what, maybe that's what I'm seeing being filmed. A reenactment and maybe that would have been for um, a, 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 a newsreel a documentary right um, but not not something modern when we think about reenactors right. uh, so I'm thinking you know maybe I don't know 1950s maybe close I don't know right. closer to the centennial perhaps right. 1960s right yeah okay there are uh, cannons. Yes. Also, I'm hearing them going off. Definitely. Man, when they hit the ground, it it makes an impact. Yes. It makes an impact. Oh yes. What would be? I'm seeing the word shrapnel. What would have caused there to be shrapnel? A shell bursting. 
so it's possible that would have hit people in the face yes. for example because I feel like my face is all cut up yes. yep. like a, I'm like a porcupine I'm like a porcupine when when an enemy formation is getting close cl close to the artillery then they would fire canister which is like a shotgun shell was there a ceasefire here or a, a surrender as part of the retreat here I don't believe so okay I, I'm someone's waving a white flag okay that's why I'm asking okay. so I don't know if the flag has some other significance when right. waving the white flag to me connotes surrender but right. I don't know right there was a, a signal station that was not too far away. That's interesting. Okay, and they would have used flags? They would have used flags. It's very interesting. So I'm wondering if the white flag would have represented then what it, it does to me now. Right. I'm curious about that. Okay. It also feels to me as though there are bodies of men and body parts that are still here correct on the field that were never retrieved or claimed absolutely mm -hmm. i want to ask about the name allen a l l e n as a last name i believe i also need to ask about the name percival so these are all names that you can look into and see okay. if it has any significance. Here. Definitely. All right. I think that's about all I'm getting connected okay. to this. Spot. Sure. Just want to remind okay. folks, I have no idea where you brought us. So where we are now, uh, this is called the triangular field. And it saw some very intense fighting during the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. And it started late in the afternoon where James Longstreet's Corps um, John Bell Hood, his division was ordered to assault and capture these heights here. And right behind us is, we're right behind Devil's Den. And then of course, from Devil's Den, you can see uh, Little Round Top and Big Round Top. This area saw some tremendous fighting and was defended primarily by the 124th New York Volunteer Infantry Regiment. Uh, Colonel Augustus Van Horn Ellis was the commander and actually felt it prudent to order a charge down the hill at the Confederates. And he, he and Major James Cromwell led it on horseback, which was an incredibly dangerous thing to do and made him a, a, a prime target for anyone with a, a, a rifle musket. And he said, the, uh, it's important, the, 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 uh, our men must see us today. And of course, they were both killed. Uh, out of the 283 men that charged down this hill, only 100 came back. Oh my goodness. And uh, it was uh, primarily Hood's Texas, uh, Jerome Robertson's brigade of Texas and Arkansas soldiers that, that uh, attacked in this area but definitely there was an artillery battery smith's artillery battery was placed a uh, uh, fourth fourth new york independent battery was placed close to here and that's the 124th and the fourth main were defending that battery and that's the the firing that you heard it was okay. very very close to where we are all right right now thank you sir this feel particularly because this is a this is a known uh, area that hot has, spot. Yes. Hot spot. Are there men that would have been buried out there? Well, m most of the Confederates that were not, they were they were buried in makeshift, makeshift graves. Right. And they weren't that the would have that have been out in this area. Sure. Yeah. Def definitely. Yeah. And they were not always identified. Right. The graves were not identified, and the soldiers were not identified. Right. So if they if they had a comrade that was a friend of theirs, might have carved, thank you. Something crawling up oh, there. Oh, thank you. Um, th so they're also body parts. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, and that's where you were 